Dating experts have teamed up with mathematician and countdown presenter Rachel Liley to work out the real odds of finding your soulmate. Yes, they're not great to be honest. No. They found if left to fate, the average person's odds of finding love are just one in 562. Wow. Does so, that mean I've got about 545 more to try? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it means that people are more likely to give birth to identical twins or see Simon Cowell become Prime Minister than find their perfect partner. He'd quite like those odds. Uh, now, if you're younger, yes, you would. If you're younger than 24, you actually find it harder to find love. So that's a nice thing, isn't it? Older people have a better chance of finding love. Is that because they've sort of given up hope and they'll just take anything? Take anything. <laughs> Sanders are way yeah, down, yeah, yeah. way yeah. down. Yeah. All, all the checklists. Talking drops, about isn't it? Myself, by the way. Uh, to increase your chances of finding love, the gym and travelling are good ways of meeting people. Mm. There you go. Get yourself down the gym, Gary. Uh, oh no, you okay. found. I don't want to suggest you. <laughs> yeah, <found. laughs> I know. Rachel, Morning, this is extraordinary. I mean, it, it seems. I, I don't think anyone would have said that, that it's one in 562 if you just leave it to fate. Yeah, well, that's if you leave it to fate exactly. But who leaves it to fate? Um, but the thing about I love about this is it's using maths <laughs> in an applied way to find love, which is you know what's better than finding love. Um, but 100. You, one in 562, as I say, it's just if you, you're looking at the numbers of everyone in the UK and you get it down to the right but that, sex, but that, right gender. But that just means, that means, I guess, just going out, going to a pub or going to somewhere and meeting someone and letting it just happen. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's things that you can do, like going to the gym, you're just increasing the amount of people that you meet or using an online dating site. I think now one in five relationships are actually found online. Mm. And it's not just leaving it to fake because it's looking at millions of people who've used these sites like eHarmony before and it's looking at their data and who's compatible um, mm. with psychological tests and I think we don't necessarily know who we're going to be compatible with if you had a checklist you know it has to be a Man United fan <laughs> uh, has to like cats um, I mean all, all those things they might not actually be as important as you think they are also going on Strictly Come Dancing seems to work for you <laughs> didn't it and um, did you know would it Pasha if you look at him I mean if you look at him you probably do think don't you? But, <laughs> Uh, if you could have a look at it, well, what you see, yeah, you'd know there's oh, a match not, going on there. Look at you two, boy. what a beautiful yeah. couple. But are you sort of obvious matches in other parts of your life if you hadn't been thrown together on a show Absolutely like that? Absolutely not. I mean, when we were born, we didn't even speak the same languages. So if you'd have said wow. to me on paper, Russian ballroom dancer, I mean, when we met, he hadn't heard of Ryan Giggs. What? So Alex Ferguson, <laughs> he had a proper education. I'd never danced a step in my life. Um, but we get on brilliantly. So it's just one of those things. Compatibility mm. is uh, a little bit mysterious. I love the idea that it's actually uh, statistically better to be older to find yeah. love because I think the, you know um, there are many women and men who feel that as you get older the options are reduced perhaps your circle of friends has reduced and maybe you know you're not like a student going out partying all the time meeting lots of new people so what but do you think that is? But that, I'm, I'm looking at that just thinking you just become less fussy you kind of become less fussy about about certain things, and then you kind of open your. I think that's a good thing, though. I think it's it, things like age ranges. So if you're, you know, 18 to 24, you might not want to date anyone under 24, sure. and that narrows your options. As you get a bit older, you definitely these want to things date young ones, yeah. aren't as, <laughs> more, as important. Actually, men have a better chance as well. Yes. Because um, they are more open to wider age ranges and things like that, less less picky. Um, mm. And as soon as you broaden the net and you kind of, you know, get rid of some of those rules that you've put in for yourself, then you're. Getting your odds and timing, bit. knowing what you want out of life as well, I think, rather yeah. than, you know, and what makes, what uh, makes yourself... There was it. another uh, report in the newspaper today, uh, Rachel Riley, that says that uh, keeping your partner waiting causes 30, is it, it Charlotte? Says how waiting for your other half to get ready causes <laughs> 30, 30 rounds a year. A year. Who's, a year. who's the quick one to get ready in your house? Your Pasha? Um, Pasha, when he gets ready, his whole entire wardrobe will be on the bed, on the floor. Every, he gets changed. You have to have the fake tan very, very first stylish. as well, won't you, and all of he that? He Oh, he's, not in, okay. you know, he's not into that kind of thing. Actually. So hold on, so does that mean that you're waiting for him while he tries out everything in his wardrobe? Generally, yes. That's where you know apps and games and you know Duolingo learning languages and all that kind of thing comes in handy because you're not wasting time. You just you sit downstairs. It so you're like learning a language while he's getting ready to go out. Generally. Do you know what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm it's pacing up and down, going, "Can we go, please?" <laughs> <laughs> that's my app. No, I had to learn very quickly to be patient. And um, mm. I guess that's one of the things. He's a lot more patient. He's a lot more zen than me. So that's kind of, we balance each other out and it's, it's rubbed off. Wow. Fascinating stuff. Uh, Rachel, lovely to see you. Uh, you. Best of luck with this season. Of course, not the first game because you're playing West Ham. That's one you're going to give to us. And we've got your boy to Teresa. Very exciting. But really nice to see you. Thanks.